Hi everyone. Just uh, videotaping, letting you know, those of you that live in nice, warm, balmy places. It is Sunday, March 3rd, just leaving my mom's place with my husband. And we're just driving home in this lovely snowstorm. And look at the beautiful roads. Isn't this nice? So I thought I might document some of our little journey on the way home. Another reason I'm videotaping this is uh, my girlfriend that I met up in Las Vegas, uh, they never get really bad snowy roads and she kind of has a little bit of a phobia, which is a well-deserved one, of driving in the snow and how people get around on snowy roads. And this is fresh fallen snow, so there is no gravel and there's no chains on the tires. And I just want everyone to see that nobody's skidding all off the roads. Um, we have really, really good winter tires on our cars and everybody drives the speed limit. I think we're going about 35 miles an hour. 55. Kilometers. We're doing 55 kilometers, but that's about 35 miles an hour, which I think is pretty standard. There's one guy there, he's going a little bit fast, but as you can see it is not scary it is you just have to drive with caution and the one thing that you should one tip is when you're coming up to a set of lights you need to brake a little bit before you would if the roads were dry but our car also has anti-lock brakes so it kind of took a little tiny little swerve but that was it no big deal so um I'm on my way back from my mom's, like I said, and I got a whole bunch of really cool, awesome vintage things from her. I was helping her clean out her spare bedroom, and she had some really neat craft stuff and vintage things that she gave me. So I'm going to share them in a, the, a video a little bit later on in this video, but I just thought I'd, in the meanwhile, give you a little view of our root home. So here it is the next morning and our snowstorm is pretty much over. It's very pretty outside. So I thought before I put my stuff away, I would show you all what I got from my mom. The first thing she gave me was this book called Having Our Say by the Delaney Sisters. And it's the first hundred years and they both lived to be a hundred and they were actually uh, neighbors of my aunt that I often mention, uh, she also lived to be 101, and I believe there was a movie made about them, so I thought, oh, that's a nice keepsake. And then we were going through one of her cupboards, and I came across this fabulous picture. Look at this woman. Isn't she something else? Well, as it turns out, she was my grandmother's really close friend. My mom said it was her best friend, and she did a lot of movies back in the 20s, and my mom, so my mom had a lot of her, I guess, their pin-up shots or her photo shots, so she said if I wanted one, I could have it. I'm going to frame this and put this in my um, craft studio or my craft room. I love her. She's fabulous. She's like ahead of her time, isn't she? Look at that old cigarette. Not that I would ever smoke, but... It just says a lot about her personality. This is like the original photo. Look how it's worn. Let's see what it says on the back. It says, Love Your Something Liz. Her nickname was Liz, but I can't remember what her... My mom told me her real name, but she's pretty awesome. Then, stuffed inside of some manila folders, I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Roxy Fur will love this. This is the original catalog when Queen Elizabeth was, um, what do you call it? Not inaugurated, but uh, coronation? Yes, here it is. The coronation of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. This is the original, the program that they um, made up in the, whenever that was. I don't know what the date is. Look at this. Isn't this fabulous? Now what I think I might do, look at Prince Charles as a baby in the book. 
I might put this up on eBay for my mom because with the Queen's coronation this year, I think this might be worth a little bit of money. And it would be nice for my mom to get a little money. So I'm going to put it on eBay and just see if I get any takers. Because this is really awesome. And then on the back it says, Long Live the Queen. And here she is coming up on her 60th anniversary. Even the flag. Look at this. I, I'm not sure what year this was. But if it was 60 years ago, that tells us what year it was, doesn't it? Isn't this neat? So cool. So I'm going to put that up on eBay for Mama. Maybe she'll make a little cash on that. Then she had these super, super cool looking stickers. Now I don't know if they're remade into looking old or if they're actually old. But either way, they look really, really old and like school, um, back to school kind of vintage looking. Can you see that? So I don't know if this was a scrapbook paper line that, you know, how they reproduce something or if it was an original. So I took it anyway. Or she gave it to me, I should say. Then look at this. Isn't this just, oh, so precious. It's a tiny little clutch. You can see how small it is. There's my thumb. So there's tiny little clutch. And then inside is a little tiny little manicure set. So I'm going to clean all those things off really well. Disinfect them because I don't know. This was my Aunt Dorothy so it's really old. And I'm going to put this in my purse. Because everything looks like it. Yeah, the scissors are sharp. The tweezers work. All this stuff works. I love, love, love this. Is this not just precious? In perfect condition. Very vintage, very old. Love it. This is a same thing from the 50s. And it's got the manicure stuff inside too. Don't know what I'll do with that. Then, look what I found. These are called Roaster Brook Oval Point Pins. So I thought it was just a box full of paper clips. And then we opened it up, and look at it full of all these pin nibs, like the ones that Tim Holtz sells. Look at them all. There must be, I don't know, it's just, how many are in here? I'm not sure, but you guys can see how many are in there. So I thought that was really cool. -io. And then I found this rubber stamp, which I thought would be kind of cool. It's an older vintage rubber stamp because it has my um, maiden name, Miles, on there. And our old address and uh, where we used to live. And very, this was a, a business my parents had, Miles Enterprises Limited. And so this would be cool just to stamp on the back of, you know, like ephemera or whatever. I just really like that. And then I like working with ink. And this was my Aunt Dorothy's ink well that sat on her desk. Look at this. It's a crystal ink well. What does it say? It doesn't say on the bottom. Love. I will be actually putting ink in this and using this. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. I think I loved everything. I was like, ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh. My mom goes, well, just take it. I'm like, I can't take all your stuff. Believe me, she has way more. She had a bag full, 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 full of old-fashioned vintage handkerchiefs. Look at these. So I only took a really small amount. And I'm not sure what I'll do with them, but I know I will find something. If anybody has any ideas, let me know. Look how pretty. They're all very, very old, but they're in good condition. They're not falling apart. I love this dark one. Look at this. They're all hankies. And this one, look at the tiny little edging on that. And then the lace edging on this one. This one's old and got a little bit of rust stains on it. Look at this fabulous black one. And look at the edging on that. 
and then this really pretty purple one with yellow rose and another purpley one with pansies on it and this look at the vibrant red gorgeous and then two little white ones with lace and another one so I'm sure I will find a use for them in some kind of journaling or something but if you guys have any ideas please let me know oh and this is my favorite this is my aunt Dorothy's has her name hand embroidered Dorothy it looks like someone made this for her because it's all hand stitched love it I won't be doing anything with that one but keeping it so there's that and then my mom in the bag she had my hospital gown I think my sister wore it before me my older sister and then me so I'm gonna put this in a shadow box frame and then uh, maybe I'll put a picture of me and my sister when we were babies in it and you know sort of do a arrangement inside of a shadow box on a pretty little hanger isn't that neat really makes me look feel old when I look how old this is but look at the beautiful embroidery detail look at this I think my grandma might have made this my well it would have been my great-grandma actually Mary I'm almost positive she did and look at this thread so, oh it's just beautiful you couldn't no one could wear it anymore it's just too delicate but it should be preserved and framed and uh, yeah so that's really pretty and then my aunt she I'm her namesake or does that make sense yeah I'm named after her so um, her name was Mercedes and my middle name is Mercedes and she apparently my mom said when she was a young adult she saved all her money went to Paris had a wonderful trip and bought this beautiful scarf when she was there and so my mom said I should have it look at this isn't it pretty oh and in the middle it says Paris je t'aime which means I love Paris I love and has all the different there's the Eiffel Tower and in this corner it has the Sacré Coeur which is a Sacred Heart Church and the Cologne and then L'Arc de Triomphe and what else is in this corner and Notre Dame the cathedral so it's a real touristy scarf and look at the lace sort of inlet in the scarf so pretty very very pretty I think I'll actually might wear that inside of this, these boxes here are all the movie slides that my parents took of us as children and and my uh, wedding pictures are in here and only a few of them got put in an album but they're all in here on slides so this was fantastic fine so what I'm gonna do is take these slides have them reproduced into photos and I'm gonna put them in al um, you know those hardcover books and give them to my mom so she has them as photographs before you can no longer do that anymore and then my brother found um, the original slide projector so I think it'll be fun to just try to watch them again as slides if this works we haven't tried it yet so that was fun and then also my mother was collecting she's very smart this way she collects all the pictures she has seven children so she collects all the pictures of all of us and she was going to give them all of, to us in um, an album but I found them and I said I wanted them now so I saved her the work so there are some great shots of these are more adult whoops these are more adult shots but let me see if I can find some when I was a little twerp oh here I am I think I'm about maybe 18 or 19 there look how skinny isn't it sad and I thought I was fat then this was me at university I was this was actually my my 18th birthday or my girlfriend hers 
and this is me with my first baby. I just can't believe what I look like, but there was one of me 14 years old. Hold on. Look at me. I think I'm about 16 with a hair dryer. Lying in bed. Actually, no, I'm married in this because that bed was our first bed. Don't I think I look like something else, hey? Some of these are just the coolest. Look at me. Va, va, voom. I can't believe that I used to think I was overweight. Was I crazy? What I wouldn't give to look like that now, hey? And there, that one of me in school. So yeah, this was a really super fun, fun, fun visit to my mom's. And she always has such treasures to share. And I love helping her organize because I love, as you know, vintage things. So I just think it's a visit down memory lane. And then I found this leather um, bag. It's like a pouch. But uh, I don't know if you guys have seen in older videos of mine, I when I go traveling, I like to put a travel journal inside of these. And the one that I have, my husband just loves and he wants it for a sketch pad. So I said, if I find another one for mine, you can have the older one. So I'll use this one and he'll be happy to know that he can have the other one that he loves. So yeah, this is really nice. And it's flat, you can see. And it's just all leather. And I think I might put some alcohol ink on this shiny button and kind of make it look a little grungy. But that's all I'm going to do to this. And so those are my vintage treasures that I got from my mom. So thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you guys real soon. Bye!